all right so what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel man it's your boy and we are back and as you can see man sneak peek number three for the february update this year and this one is giving us the leader of the infinity watch adam warlock is getting a brand new uniform just like Drax and Gamora, I thought this would have been something that happened next year because Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is scheduled to be dropping 2023. And then in December, I believe there should be like a holiday, yeah, like a holiday special for Guardians of the Galaxy, something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, guys, but yeah, today we got sneak peek number three. Many people were speculating that it would be the tier three announcement but in fact it's actually well maybe it could very well be the tier 3 announcement without actually showing us a tier 3 because i watched this video and i did not see a tier 3 in here but we got a glimpse of adam warlock and this could actually impact the game a lot <laughs> i want to choose my words carefully here because i think adam warlock could be a good and bad thing to be getting a uniform right now here's the reason why Adam Warlock is one of the most broken characters in all of Marvel. If you know anything about him, you know he's basically like a space god. He's supposed to be like, I guess, the perfect human. But then on top of that, he has all these crazy powers and he's generally in possession of the Soul Stone, which is an Infinity Stone. If you have somebody walking around with the Infinity Stone and their name is not Vision, chances are they're OP. <laughs> <laughs> shots fired i know all the all the vision fans coming for me in the comments right now but let's be real bro vision the infinity stone is wasted on that man bro but adam warlock is actually a beast like he crushes so many characters it's not even funny so him getting a uniform here i'm hoping his second coming if you will will be much better than his first because they released this man and he never really impacted the game. The best he was ever at any point in time was a counter for Doctor Strange simply because of the fact that he was immune to time freeze, right? This thing right here. And let's be real, guys. Immunity to time freeze, if this is your selling point in 2022, there's not really much reason to buy you, right? Because everybody and their mama runs a debuff removal lead now this was a time when debuff removal leaderships were not that part i would say popular no 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 i was gonna say popular but i don't think that's the right word i think they were not that potent because there was not that many of them right but now there's like at least 15 debuff removal leaderships i believe and on top of that characters have it passively so Doctor Strange and his time freeze thing in timeline battle that's not even a thing now, Adam Warlock does have the ability to revive, and I think if they do what they have been doing for PvP characters like Mr. Sinister, Hela, um, who else has it? Mr. Sinister, Hela, and Wolverine, right? Where they give these characters the undead passive on their artifact. If they do that for Adam Warlock, we could see something that is really toxic for the game. A character that can revive and abuse that the, this thing, this undead passive, right? Um, who has it here that I have favorite? I'll just go to Wolverine, right? Adam Warlock is supposed to be really, really hard to get rid of, right? Almost unkillable because he's a godlike character. So I wouldn't be surprised if they gave him the undead artifact. I, I know, I know I'm jumping the gun. We're going to take a look at the rest of the sneak peek and whatnot. But I really want to touch on this. I hope they don't do that. I hope they do something different, like what they did for Emma Frost with the reflect, but even that is pretty toxic. I, I'm like, on one hand, I want him to be really, really strong because Adam Warlock costs 6,000 crystals. You have to buy him from the shop. Just like, well, I don't know why you would, but if you're a new player and you can't beat Galactus, Giant Boss Raid, you can buy Silver Surfer if you go to the character page. Now, obviously, because I already have all these characters unlocked, it's not going to show it to me, but Adam Warlock is here in the shop if you're a new player for 6,000 crystals for three stars. I'm going to tell you guys this right now. Do not buy Adam Warlock. And if you have him, do not build him any further than you currently have him. Because here's the thing. We've been noticing a trend lately where certain characters are getting better than they've ever been, but 
they may not necessarily be getting better for the things that you want them to be better for. For example, Mr. Sinister, he's better than he's ever been, but let's be real, that's just for Alliance Conquest. How many of you guys watching this video right now are really gonna build Mr. Sinister for Alliance Conquest? Adam Warlock has the tools to be a top tier PVP character, but let's be real, he's a tier two native, he's gonna be double cost, which means 1600 CCF, a bunch of EOD and TCP to get his gears up to 25 and whatnot. How many of you guys are going to want to build him if you already have Sentry and all those other characters built for PvP like Dr. Doom? Again, they might make him something completely different, but I'm saying right now, do not. I know a lot of you guys love to do this when your favorite character or a character you really like is getting a rework or getting a uniform. You run to go build them and then they get the update and it's not what you want and you end up cursing the devs and being very, very upset. So I'm warning you guys ahead of time, let your favorite content creator waste their money, time and resources, find out how good these characters are. And then after that, once you've seen four or five different videos and you can confirm that yes, they're good for what I want them to be good for, then go build them because wait in a week i'm putting this out there right now because i know somebody's gonna go in build whoever whether it's gamora drax or adam warlock and i'm specifically doubling down on adam warlock because some of y'all don't have them you just started playing the game a couple years ago adam warlock hasn't been relevant for like three four years damn near five years i, I don't know i can't even remember when he came to the game I can just remember when he came to the game, he wasn't very good and he hasn't been very good. The most I use this guy for is Alliance Conquest and that's the only reason why he's level 70 right now because he has a revive and I have like an invincibility obelisk on him so I can put him on my second team to just like troll people really, that's it. He has everything I would say in, in his kit to be a top tier PVP character if he gets a uh, tier three because he can revive and whatnot and if they give him healing, which in today's meta, if you're a PvP character and you can't heal, <laughs> let's be real, that's not gonna work, right? So, more than likely, they're gonna give him some type of healing, and if his HP goes up, which his HP probably won't go up too much because he's a blast type, but with the ability to revive on the potential artifact, which you guys know they're gonna milk the artifact system so much. Trust me, they're gonna milk it. Did Adam Warlock, him, the guy, one of the only people that can say they soloed, well, did he really? Well, yeah, kinda. I was gonna say soloed Mephisto, right? Just take that in, boys. When Thanos is on a rampage, when they can find him, guess who they run through? Adam Warlock, he's that guy bro so this is a big opportunity for them to cash in on a character that they didn't really get to cash in on the last time i will say this and i said it on twitter let me show you guys my twitter post if i can bring it up right i did say it on twitter i hope they don't treat him like they did my boy hyperion and blue marvel let me show you guys right here pop all right so i said oh boy Hope his second coming is better than his first. Please don't make him another Hyperion or a Blue Marvel. Now, I know some of you guys are gonna be like, what does that mean? I'll tell you right now. How many of you guys use Blue Marvel or Hyperion on a regular basis? I'll wait. Probably not that many of you guys. Reason for that is the game modes that they're good for, 90% of you guys don't play. I'm talking Alliance Tournament for Blue Marvel and Alliance Conquest for Hyperion. Besides that, the only reason to use these characters ever really is story missions so you can get the extra fragments. I'm saying I don't want them to turn him into Adam Warlock. Sorry, I don't want them to turn Adam Warlock into Hyperion and Blue Marvel where they're just relegated to two insignificant game modes in the grand scheme of things, right? I want him to be able to cover a plethora of different game modes. So I hope that's what they have in store for him this time around, especially since it's 6,000 crystals. It's a deluxe package, but they did well with Emma Frost, okay? And Emma Frost <laughs> is pretty expensive herself, so hopefully they got something spicy in store for Adam Warlock. With that said, let me get my ugly ass out of here and we can take a look at the trailer. I know I've been babbling for what? <laughs> oh my gosh, damn near 10 minutes. I'm sorry, guys, okay? Anyways, let's jump into the video, man.
Also, I just want to say something like, am I the only one wondering if these guys are still on vacation? Because the art, the art for the background here looks, I don't know, maybe this is supposed to be inside Soul World, right? Inside the Soul Gem. So maybe that's why it looks like, I don't know, like a kindergartner drew this, <laughs> but like for real, again, I probably couldn't do better. So I'm not trying to throw shade. The point is the sneak peek team usually gives us some bangers. And this one right here just seems like, yo, the intern drew this, this background. That's just me. Also, just want to point out, am I the only one who thinks that the uh, the lightning bolt on Adam Warlock's chest here kind of looks like Shazam? Or, well, the hair would give it away that it's not Black Adam, but I was going to say Black Adam from DC. But it definitely kind of gives me Shazam vibes. He's not as buff as Shazam, but I guess you can't really see the arm here. And this one, you can only really see the forearm. But I digress. The, the lightning bolt realistically made me think of Shazam. Comment down below if any of you guys are DC fans and that came to your mind when you saw this right here. However, before we end the video, I did want to show you guys one of my favorite um, moments with Adam Warlock because some of you guys like the comic portion of these videos. So let's jump into it. So I mentioned earlier that one of the only people to ever take down Mephisto, Solo Dolo, was actually Adam Warlock. And this comic run right here is actually the one that he did it in. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. You can look at these guys. They're like super sized in outer space and Adam Warlock is going head to head with the strongest demon in the, well, I guess one of the strongest demons in the known universe. And here's the thing guys, he's even beaten Mephisto in his own realm where Mephisto thought no one could ever beat him. Take a look at this guys. So this is Mephisto right here. He transformed into his big form, right? And he's trying to talk smack to Adam Warlock. And Adam Warlock straight dummies him, bro. Like backhands him. Well, I guess he doesn't backhand him. He just blasts him with, with a beam from the soul gem, right? And, then, <laughs> and here Adam Warlock, bro. Have you soon forgotten your last encounter? Do you not recall your agonizing fate when before you challenged my soul gem? Remember too that that contest took place within your precious Hades, where you once thought yourself to be supreme. In case you guys don't know, inside Mephisto's dome, he is, it's kind of like how in Limbo, Magic, the character, she's unbelievably powerful, but when she comes to the regular world, she gets nerfed a little bit. It's kind of similar for Mephisto, where inside his own realm, he's incredibly powerful. Like, I would say damn near unkillable. A lot of characters have tried Mephisto in his own realm, and not too many have walked away. Let's just say that. And Adam Warlock is one of the few to do it. And right here, he's literally bragging, bro. He's like, defy me now, and your very existence stands in peril. Like, like what? Bro, this is Mephisto. Like, you don't just, like, I was going to say backhand him, but like, yeah. This man is blasting him in the face and just literally talking down to him like he's a baby fam. <laughs> like, what? Crazy. Look at this man. Like, even Mephisto had to beg for his life, bro. Check this out. Enough. I seek not to challenge you, mighty warlock. <laughs> like, what? But to bargain with you in good faith is why I'm here. Bro, imagine a demon like Mephisto, self-proclaimed god, begging Adam Warlock. And this is an Adam Warlock that only has the soul gem, bro. Keep in mind that Adam Warlock, once upon a time, had the entire Infinity Gauntlet with all of the gems in there. So this will tell you how much of a monster this man is. Now, before I wrap this up, I do want to show off another amazing feat here where Adam Warlock goes up against, again, Mephisto, and it really goes to show the level of power that this man has. There's only a couple characters that can step to Mephisto, and he's one of them. So basically what happens here is Drax, Moon Dragon, Pip the Troll, Gamora, and Silver Surfer all team up with Adam Warlock and they go to Mephisto's realm, essentially Hades or Hell, and they go there in order to get back this crystal, which contains the essence of Silver Surfer's wife, AKA Shahalabal. Now what happens here is basically Drax, Silver Surfer, and all these guys get overpowered by Mephisto. And for the most part, Adam Warlock single-handedly 
overpowers Mephisto. So much so that Mephisto had to bargain with him like his name was Dormammu. And Silver Surfer essentially gets taken out of commission for a while. After everything is over, he comes to and he's like, yo, what happened, Mephisto? Your battle with Warlock, the outcome. Even Mephisto had to humble himself and sit down and say, he soundly defeated me. That man is a true demon. I'm just here pretending to be a demon. <laughs> and that's what's up. The man said, amidst the terms of surrender, mm -hmm, was allowing you to depart this realm unmolested. I don't even think YouTube allows that word, but it is what it is. So basically, Adam Warlock is not one to be tested. Demons have tried him. Gods have tried him. Thanos has tried him. And time and time again, this man has proved himself to be a force of absolute power.